everyone, it's Jennifer from the Sonic Duo. Ah, uh, a problem had occurred with my, or with my grandma's phone, so we had experienced some technical difficulties, and the first video did not save. So this is take two of our video. All right, now, without further ado, let's get back to our review of Veggie Tales again. Even though you didn't see the first take because, well, of course the video didn't save, and because the video didn't save, I could not upload it to YouTube. So, this is take two of our video. Without further ado, let's get on to it. Oh, man, I just can't seem to find my hairbrush. Searched high and low, and I still can't find my hairbrush. Huh. Hmm. Oh, hello there. I am Jennifer, of course. And today we're going to be doing something a little special today. But first, I want to thank my cousin, Bethany Lindy, and her husband, Brandon H., for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot to me. Anyway, I just want to make a quick announcement before we start our review. Um, my birthday is coming up soon, and, um, I will be uploading a video about it in the future. So, be sure to watch out for that. Oh, and... If you can, please like the video if you want to find your hairbrush. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the review. Alright, so today's video, or er, review, is going to be about Veggie Tales. And Veggie Tales is a show that I love so much. I grew up with it as a little kid. And I've been obsessed with it ever since. I love that show. Now, for those who don't know, Veggie Tales is a Christian show with a bunch of CG talking vegetables. And, you know, sometimes they'll reenact stories from the Bible, or sometimes they'll make original stories. And, you know, about God and stuff. So, you know. It's a pretty good show to hang out with, and it's also got a awesome sense of humor. Like, really, an awesome sense of humor. Take, for example, the Silly Songs with Larry parts. Those were always my favorite parts of all the VeggieTales episodes, and I just can't seem to, you know, have a VeggieTales episode without them. I mean, of course, there are a few episodes who don't have the silly songs, Larry, and that kind of bummed me out a bit, but it's fine. It's just how, it's just the way life is. All right. So, now, now that we're done with the quick recap, it is time to talk about why I am so obsessed with that show. I honestly don't know why, like, at all. I I talked to my grandma about it, and she's obsessed with it too, by the way. But, um... But, um... She said that it was probably because of the memories that, you know, of me watching it as a little kid and me just, like, falling in love with it and stuff. I don't know. But what I do know is how much I love each and every one of the characters, especially Larry. And it's not just because of the silly songs of Larry. And, you know, it's because, you know, he's a lot like me, you know? But Bob the Tomato and Larry the Cucumber, you know, they are the most perfect iconic duo I have ever seen in any show ever. Sorry, Mario and Luigi, but your princess is in another castle. Anyway, 
I love the characters. For example, they all have dis distinctive personalities that, you know, people can look up to and relate to. So, you know, for example, Bob is basically the serious guy. While Larry is, you know, the funny, typical, you know, awesome guy. I'm not saying Bob's a bad person, but still. Alright. Oh, and I'm also going to be releasing a new series called Jennifer's Therapy, where Jennifer tries to get over her obsession of VeggieTales. Mmm, spicy. <laughs> Alright. I will see you guys later, and once again, thank you to Bethany and her husband for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot to me. I love you. Mwah. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.